Hello guys, Tomas is here. I hope you are all doing well. In today's video I'm going to talk about pros and cons of living in Switzerland. As already a few of you asked me in the comments below other videos that I made about uh, life in Switzerland to make a video about uh, positives and negatives of living here in Switzerland. So um, I think I already have enough experience uh, or I spent enough time here in Switzerland and also before I moved to Switzerland I lived in other countries. I lived in Mexico, uh, I lived in Canada, I lived in Germany, I lived in the UK. So I can compare also uh, those countries and I can give you reasons why uh, I moved to Switzerland and why I chose Switzerland. Actually I visited Switzerland first time in my life uh, more than uh, 20 years ago. Uh, and when I saw this country for the first time, it was a long time ago, yeah, let's say 20, more than 20 years ago, um, Switzerland was a bit different than it is now. There was uh, uh, less foreigners, let's say it, uh, the way it is. Um, and uh, the country was so, so beautiful. My first impressions were like, wow, I arrived to the eastern Switzerland, canton of St. Gallen and canton Turgau. It was summer, the weather was nice and uh, mountains everywhere, uh, it was beautiful and people were very nice. I spent uh, more than a month uh, in Switzerland at that time and I was like wow, uh, this country is really nice, I like it here. I spoke uh, German but not too well and somehow I thought okay this country is too good, too good to be true or too good for me or I wasn't confident enough in terms of uh, uh, saying, yeah, uh, I would like to move move here. Uh, maybe uh, actually the German was the, the problem at that time. Uh, it wasn't good enough. I knew English and some other languages. Uh, maybe I thought I want to explore other parts of the world uh, and not Switzerland in terms of uh, settling. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I lived uh, after that in other countries. But anyway, let's go back to Switzerland. Um, why uh, I like Switzerland and what are the, the positives about living here? The Switzerland is very clean, a very clean country. Also, if you compare it with the other countries in Europe, I mean, in the top three for me personally in Europe, in terms of cleanliness and how everything is organized and nice, uh, there I would put Switzerland, Luxembourg and Norway uh, in Europe. So, um, Switzerland is there. For me, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very clean country, nice, uh, you almost don't see homeless people in Switzerland. Of course there are homeless people here, but uh, maybe there is not that many of them. Uh, maybe they are better looked after. Um, you don't see them uh, in some cantons at all, or beggars or things like that. Uh, it's very, very rare. Uh, I saw some beggars, but they are from other countries. They are from Romania. They come here um, to beg. Um, yeah, so so the country is clean, safe, safe. Yeah, you can uh, walk in Switzerland in anywhere. In also at night. Also, if you are a woman, um, there's a very little uh, amount of uh, crime where people would attack you or want to uh, burglar your house or, or steal something from your pickpocket and things like that uh, they are not an issue here at all i think it's partly because um officially quarter of the population of switzerland are foreigners and uh, actually in reality it's even more um, than 25 percent and these people are here with their permits they don't have a swiss passport yet <clears throat> they are on b or c permit and they are behaving. Yeah, they don't want to cause themselves any trouble. So <laughs> it's similar like in the US. Everyone is driving slowly. No one wants to be checked by the by the police when they drive because there's a lot of illegals and they don't want to be deported. So in Switzerland, people are not here illegally. <clears throat> Mainly they are um, not citizens, they are residents and they don't want to lose that status because their goal is to become citizens one day so um, yes switzerland is 
uh, very safe. Uh, everything runs on time, even better than in Germany. There are trains, you know, that this is famous, they are uh, on time, you can rely on them. The public transport is very well organized. It, uh, yeah, it, is, it is good, it is very good. Um, in the shops, everything is always available, you know. Um, a nice thing is, for example, water here. Uh, cold water is actually free. Uh, you don't pay for cold water when you are um, when you have an apartment and you use cold water. It's free. You can also get it uh, on the streets. You know there are fountains and you can drink it. And also air is free here. <laughs> but that's about it. Uh, there's not much else uh, that I could remember that it's free in Switzerland. Um, yeah. And the nature, yeah, the nature is beautiful. It's beautiful. There are, there are, there's lots of, um, lots of mountains, lots of uh, lakes, lots of beauty around. In summer, in winter, you are in the center of Europe. <clears throat> you are close to France, Germany, Austria, uh, Italy, and by the train you get there very, very fast. You know, uh, Switzerland is not that big, so uh, it is. Uh, uh, also easy to travel from here to other places uh, So these are the positives that came to my mind right now and then some negatives Oh, uh, Another positive um, The salaries, you know, the, the minimum wage per hour here is about 25 Swiss francs So you're making 25 Swiss francs no matter what you're doing uh, Any manual job So I, I find that very good Also their taxation um, here it's uh, it's quite good. It depends on the ca canton where you live, um, uh, how high will be your income tax. Um, but yeah, it's not high. It's not that high, except maybe the highest is the canton of Geneva. But um, other cantons like Luzern, Zug, Schwyz, uh, Appenzell, etc., uh, uh, Graubünden, um, they have low taxes. So taxes are good here okay what are the negatives yeah I would say Switzerland is quite expensive um, services for example a haircut for a, for a, for a male uh, around 25 Swiss francs and more uh, public transport tickets are also not cheap um, groceries uh, you have to be smart, you know, there are these lots of supermarkets and if you want to save and you don't want to overspend, you go to Aldi, Lidl and uh, you shop there, you know. And if you don't care about money, then you go to Coop and uh, to Manor and to other places where the groceries are more expensive. Um, also, I find very good that there is a lot of uh, organic uh, produce, organic uh, products, uh, groceries available here in Switzerland a lot, much more than in any other European country where I've been. <clears throat> so if you like to eat organic, uh, you, it's all available for you. Um, what are the negatives? Yeah, the people, you know. I lived, <laughs> I lived in uh, South America and people are very nice there. Uh, especially in Mexico, very friendly, they talk to you, they're open, uh, they're nice. Uh, here in Switzerland people are introverts, people are closed, people don't talk to you. But the good thing is they speak English, almost everyone knows English, but they are introverted and they are maybe a little bit uh, afraid of foreigners, especially in some smaller cantons in the mountains, you know. Um, yeah, so it's hard to make friends here with the locals. Uh, most of my friends here are actually foreigners or two, like immigrants like me. So yeah, uh, Swiss people are introverts, not so open, not so communicative. Uh, yeah, a little bit weird. Even in some cantons I experience they are a little bit like uh, seem arrogant, you know, when they, uh, even when they walk by, you know, they are like mm, not giving you space. And sometimes they can be very loud on the trains. Like they don't like when you are loud. I mean, if you are on the phone, 
and they it happened to me people complained like oh, you are talking too loud but I'm not talking too loud I'm just talking like if I was there with someone talking not loud just normally so we hear each other but Swiss people come on when they get like two of them three four oh my god and even like older people they are so noisy on the train they, they behave like they are in a, in a pub they really they are loud they will just talk shout over each other like there was no one else um, but uh, <laughs> I think uh, people don't see that or they don't want to talk about it um, uh, what are the ne negatives yeah the, the health insurance health insurance is expensive here it will cost you around 300 francs every month you have to pay from your own pocket no matter what uh, you, will, you like it or not you have to pay that uh, from your own money uh, yeah, what are the negatives? You know, Swiss, they just work, work, work. They like to work. I mean, when you come here at the beginning, maybe you will enjoy and you will be not like that or you won't feel it. But after a few years, uh, it happens to many people. They start to just, uh, they lose the motivation. They are a little bit not so enthusiastic. They just work too much. Everything is around the money to pay the bills. But the positive thing is that here, I can compare it with other countries where I lived, uh, you make more money than elsewhere and most of the, in most of the countries as an employee. And you, after paying all your bills, you save and you keep uh, much more than anywhere else. Um, the negative is also the rents. Rents are exp high, especially in big cities. Um, uh, so is insurance uh, of your car and stuff like that. To buy a car is actually not that bad, it's not that expensive when you're buying, a, when you're leasing it or when you're buying a used car. Um, what are the negatives? Sorry guys, I don't have a list, I didn't prepare this, I'm just taking from my, uh, uh, from top of my head, uh, uh, talking from top of my head, so I'm trying to be authentic. Um, yeah, but overall the life is good here, I mean, it's, it's good. Uh, sometimes the weather is actually not so nice, like this year. Uh, it's too much rain uh, yeah there are four seasons here uh, but sometimes it's rains too much also in winter and yeah it's a bit depressive but it's nothing like England um, yeah so when you come to Switzerland and you make friends then you will be fine because this is the only negative the people <laughs> to be honest all right, guys. Let me know what what uh, what do you think? Uh, what is your experience of living in Switzerland? What other negatives and positives would you add to this uh, list? And I hope you, this video gave you some ideas about how Switzerland is. I hope it helped. I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Um, I would be very happy if you give me a like and watch some other of my videos and share them and subscribe and all that. Thank you so much.